This intersection is full signalization. That means that only one direction has green at the same time. Or, or more specifically, uh, only one direction can go at the time. Right at the time. Obviously not showing green lights uh, to do uh, two different directions or two conflicting directions is a bad idea. Although it's so low volume here that there's no point in having separate traffic light stages. Uh, there should be actuation systems to uh, let the traffic lights know when there's so low volume that there's no point in having separate light stages. Uh, the intersection is actually, is, um, as far as I can tell, on a fixed time. I mean, that it, uh, that it will always have the same uh, cycle length and cycle stages in the same order. Uh, uh, from cycle to cycle. Uh, it sometimes, uh, it could change for peak hour, for example, versus off peak. Uh, there was still a less efficient uh, type of signalization. It also constrains pedestrians here. Uh, this here is, is, is uh, a couple, in a couple of years, going to have a protected bike lane, something called a protected bike lane. Actually, right about here, where my camera is pointing, uh, a station platform right there, and a couple of LRT tracks right there. Extending over the uh, to Mill Woods via the quarters and to Westminster Mall uh, via 104 Avenue and Sony Plain Road. Uh, that will be a valid reason for having separate sta signal stages. Although even then, it could ha it could run on at least during, for example, when it's on the seven and a half and uh, frequency, uh, it could run or on ten and a frequency. It could just run uh, flashing amber in one direction. Let's say that it's 102 Avenue and flashing right for another, the other direction, in this case 99 Street. Until the LRT comes. If the traffic lights uh, weren't functioning here, I don't think there will be an acopolis. It's actually proved that at intersections like this, where there's so low volume, uh, but it's signalized, it actually increases risk by uh, making people look at the traffic lights, not at the at the area around them. Pedestrian crossings would have a central reservation in the middle, usually. This is an example where she has to wait, even though there's no solo volume, there's no point. People just cross against the signals and there's no risk. If I can manage the intersection, I would change these ridges to tactile paving. Uh, make it so that the corner radii is a bit lower. Add for the bike lane on 102 Avenue and probably on uh, 99th Street there. Uh, make uh, 102 Avenue a 40 km per hour area and 99 a 30 km per hour area with traffic calming. I changed these to uh, high visibility crosswalks. You can see them in the distance over there. Uh, to make it very clear that pedestrians have the right of way here. A raised intersection will also help. So that you can cross where you want to do that. In fact, if I even had the choice, I would uh, make it all directions yellow and have uh, a yield sign instead facing 99th Street, indicating that they are the ones who have to yield, but the yellow beacon has a caution. It's proving popular in the Netherlands and in a, a number of other areas. In fact, the intersection that works exactly like that works similarly to this is right over there. Although the yellow lights only uh, come on when people press the button for the crosswalk. Uh, another intersection of this type exists uh, uh, maybe a kilometer or two to the south. 
uh, near uh, a, a bridge over the river. It does get high uh, with high volumes uh, for the during during peak times, but, uh, but even then you can uh, turn into uh, rest in red and uh, flexibility in the light staging. People aren't dumb, uh, but you make them dumber if you uh, make them. I try to make them robots. There's no real risk here if uh, those cars go on red at this uh, type of volume. If there's no danger, legalize it. Like that.